Hi, English 111. I wanted to just give you a quick introduction to this week and welcome to our next week online. Our focus this week is completely the argument essay. So be thinking about your thesis, what you want to argue about language, how you want to argue that. And I want to focus on two things this week. One, you will have um, a, a brief little worksheet um, posted below that I would like for you to fill out and to use to create your argument essay. It's going to ask you to state your thesis and to talk about the points you want to make to support your side of the argument um, and how you want to organize your essay. The other part that I want to encourage you to think about is the way you do your research. The research for the argument essay should be um, targeted enough that it helps to support what you're saying, but it doesn't have to be specifically your thesis statement. So, for example, I'll share with you an essay that I wrote in a graduate school class. Um, I was comparing a Shakespeare play, Titus Andronicus, to The Walking Dead. Uh, great, all kinds of really interesting comparisons between them. But I'm not going to find any academic sources and databases talking about Shakespeare and The Walking Dead. So I had to make my research broad. So I could do research on Shakespeare and on Titus Andronicus because there's plenty of it out there. But then some of the points I was making, um, I could do medical research because one of the points I was making is that losing a limb, um, characters in both have a hand amputated. So losing a limb can make you kind of lose control and lose your mind, too. It happens to both uh, characters in both. So I did medical research on um, the effects of amputations, the psychological effects of amputations. So that has nothing to do with Shakespeare. It has nothing to do with The Walking Dead. But as the writer, I can use that information to help me make my point. So your thesis, your argument is yours. So the research you do might be broad. It might be kind of around the topic. And then it's your job as the writer to pull that good, useful information out of your sources and put it into your essay and make the connections. The sources themselves don't have to make the connections. Okay. We're going to keep talking about this a little bit more over next week as well, because that's kind of the big part of this particular essay is making your point and using your research to help you make your point. Um, so yeah, uh, enjoy this week. Have a good week. And if you have questions along the way, please feel free to email me. Have a good week.